Before we jump off into this next video, quit hating and smash that like button. What's up with it, everybody? You already know what it is. There you go talking that boxing again. I don't watch reality TV. I watch boxing. I just wanted to hop on here, do a quick video, and update everybody on what went on in the weigh-in um, with Javante Tank Davis and your Yogi's Gamboa. So, first off, Gamboa weighed in. He did what he had to do. He weighed in on weight, okay? Um, Tank Davis showed up to the weigh-in late. Had everybody waiting on him. When he came into the weigh-in, he had towels over him. So you could tell that he was already out, you know. Um, it was a hold-up because he was trying to make weight, you know. Tank Davis wasn't on weight, so he was late to the weigh-in because he was back. Wherever he was, he was trying to make weight, all right. Tank Davis gets on the scale, and once again, Tank Davis weighs in over the weight limit, okay. Tank Davis weighs in at 130. Um, 6.2 I believe I think it was 136.2 the weight limit was 135 now keep in mind this is a new division this is a whole new division that Tank Davis is fighting in Tank Davis moved up in weight from the 130 pound division so why are you missing weight this don't make no damn sense you move up to a new weight class and you still missing weight and let's remember um, last time when Tank Davis had a big, big fight um, was on Mayweather's pay-per-view card with Conor McGregor. And remember, um, Tank Davis, he lost his belt on the scales back then, okay, when he was fighting in the 130-pound division. And see, the problem is, is Tank's discipline. And every time somebody says something about Tank, all of his protectors come in. Why you hating on Tank? What? Oh, this nigga's a clown. He hating on Tank. No, you a clown. You know what I'm saying? Because let's keep it 150 straight down the middle. Let's keep the same energy that we do with everybody else when it come to Tank. Okay? Let's just keep it real. Tank ain't had no business missing weight because Tank is moving up to a whole new weight division and the first fight in Atlanta since 1999 and they give this opportunity to Tank Davis okay so yeah they say that Tank Davis got an hour to make weight or whatnot um I hope he come back and make weight you know do his thing whatever he got to do to make weight but it looks like that he was already having a hell of a hard time making the weight because like I said when he came into the press conference he had towels over him already now and it just don't make no sense you know tank davis is not disciplined outside of the ring because we see him when he's not in training the camp we see him walking around at 170 plus pounds and the man only like five foot four five foot five so yeah you know um that's just what it is so then they have a face-off, okay? Tank Davis, he tried to leave, but they had him come back after the weigh-in. They had, you know, he was trying to put his clothes on and leave. They they told him, um, you know, nah, you got to come back and you got to do a face-off. So they do a face-off. They, you know, staring each other down. No words were exchanged between either man. And then Tank Davis, he pushes Gamboa, you know, pushes him hard. And then all mayhem break loose. The teams get into it on the stage. They have a hard time breaking everything up, you know. Um, so, it's going to be a heated fight tomorrow night. As far as um, if Tane Davis is going to make weight or not, you know, I have to keep y'all updated on that. Like I said, they said he had an hour to make weight. So, let's go ahead and see what happens, you know. Um, until then, next time, you already know what it is. Stop being a hater and hit that like button, and I'm out.